So let's get down to business, huh? So first, uh, I have a fresh install of Rhino uh, 6. We'll get down to the details on which one I have. Uh, but uh, And Illustrator, of course, I will try and keep things updated uh, for Andrew, uh, for Doodle, Doodlebug as much as possible. But this is to show you guys, if you have a different setup, this is to show you how to do it on your own. It is involved, and that's why I'll try and keep things updated for you guys. But uh, this is to show you how to do it on your own if you have some specific build, or let's say you really need it and I haven't updated, or Andrew for that matter, uh, and you know, up to the certain specs, you know, could be short, whatever. So first, let's go, I'll show you a resource that I love. I have it right here. It's Rhino dot github there it is github dot io and this is what you need to go uh, to when you want to get into this sort of stuff so this is a list of all these good components this is a great resource just just to have uh, um, you know you have all these guys right here there's doodlebug and it will tell you all these things, you know, centipede, centipede, there's that. Uh, what are some other good ones that a human, there you go. And the UI, human's great. Everyone should have human for a proper workflow. Uh, but that's not what we're getting into. We're getting into Doodlebug. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> CC 2015 release 2016 is pretty darn old so we're going to try and update this and have things updated for everyone click on that let's go to download and this is why I'm making a video because things are very convoluted right now um, so this is the, the splash page for doodlebug Andrew's done really great work, but uh, he's a little bit too busy right now and, he, and uh, uh, doesn't have the resources right now to keep things updated. So that's where I'm going to just step in and start trying to do this. So uh, uh, this is where you want to look. I've been studying this one for quite a while. Andrew's done so good on trying to like help everyone with his lack of resources so uh, um, he gave the source files right here so like I said splash page right here on doodlebug on grasshopper 3d come down here this one right here this is where I know how to get the link but uh, uh, this is for the the link for the source files and we will be downloading things right here uh, uh, actually you know what let let's come back to this because we can link directly to this github uh, or this uh, git page right here so uh, like I said this is the long way around you got to do everything you know from the start so we're going to be installing visual studio this is going to be a big download, just warning you, so if you don't have a lot of space on your computer, you, you know, you got to wait for updates from me or Andrew or someone else. So, uh, uh, going to install this Visual Studio. This will take a while. There we go. Doing this. Continue. downloading downloading and I'll probably just uh, pause the video or speed it up or something so you guys don't have to view this whole long installation so you're welcome uh, but uh, maybe I might use this time to talk about it so uh, oh here we go uh, and you know what I like to use the Python stuff uh, like so uh, <laughs> I'm not good at coding I'm not and so this is why I'm making this video is because 
you know, oh, go in here, make these few changes. It'll be, you know, it's it's a piece of cake. Well, people don't know how to code, and that's why they're downloading a package like this. Because if you want, if you knew what to do, then uh, you wouldn't be watching this video, now would you? <laughs> so uh, uh, I, I I like to use Python on some stuff. This is the only code I know how to use Python. I love it. Uh, and that I, I, I'll, I'll have some Python stuff coming up uh, with uh, uh, Grasshopper as well in some future videos, maybe. But uh, this is what you want for your current build of uh, Doodlebug. So click on that. Go to install. Like I said, five gigabytes of space. I mean, you know, I, I got some space on here, but, you know, not everyone has that luxury. So uh, we'll do that and it'll start downloading uh, a lot of time to do that. So like I was saying, let's let's go into the builds. Let's open up Rhino. I'll show you what. Oh, here we go right here. Version 6, SR14 is what I'm running. SR14. So, uh, and I'll show you, I have nothing, nothing installed on here. Nothing installed on Grasshopper. It's a fresh install. So uh, all I got is, you know, that comes standard, which is nice on uh, 6 is uh, Kangaroo, so that's nice. Oh, I have, uh, yeah, I have uh, Mesh Plus installed. So uh, uh, Mesh Plus is great. Uh, I use it for um, uh, meshes, of course. <laughs> uh, so uh, let's see what uh, Illustrator build I have. Let's close this. We're we're not gonna need that for now. And come on, machine. What just happened? There we go. So twenty-three oh twenty-three point zero point Three is the build I'm working with. This is uh, uh, Adobe 19. It's just, oh, what happened? What's going on? Oh, you know what? It's because I use, I'm using double screens. Well, whatever. We don't we don't need to know that right now. So downloading, installing right now. It's gonna take a while. It's gonna take a while. 144 out of 311. Oh, that's a good band. 311. Uh, all right. So let's go over this. So uh, this get. Uh, you, you really just need uh, uh, to copy this right here. Uh, I'll, I'll show you how to do that in Visual Studio so you don't have to like, you know, download and then relink the file and this and that. In, in Visual Studio, you can just link directly to this and I'll copy everything down uh, in the folder space that you need to set up. Uh, and I'll go ahead, uh, I'll just pause this, uh, I'll speed it up, and uh, I'll get back to you. Ah, uh, uh, no, it's gone. We'll, we'll keep it going. We'll keep, we'll keep the, the, the uh, dry airways up. So, um, like I said, we need that. Let me go over some uh, things with you. Like I said, this is a great resource to have. Just like I said, it, it's in one of my, you know, bookmarks. It's my top book, my front bookmark. And I just use this. It's like, oh, yeah, I wonder if there's a, uh, there's a component that does this or does that. And uh, I'll look in here. Sometimes, like, I'll just browse in here for, for stuff. And, 
you know, there's, there's certain things that like I would never use, never think to use. Like, uh, there's one for, you know, like, uh, uh, uh biology and stuff like that. I was like, oh, why would I ever use that? But then I see like one component. It's like, oh man, there's, maybe it's just like a management for, you know, like, uh, uh, this or that, but you know, it, it's definitely worth going through here. So we're almost there. Um, there's also, you know, I use, uh, no, not that one, this one. So uh, doing all my Python stuff, come to this page. You know, I'll keep it open for a little bit. This is, if you really want to get into like deep deep stuff on grasshopper doing your own things i don't know how many times python has helped me just do one little small little thing that i can't do with regular components python's very easy to use it's it's you know just spend some time learn a little bit just grab grab some python code that someone wrote study it see how it works and if you know components in grasshopper it's very easily translated but like i said go in here read through all of this it's a lot i'll tell you but maybe maybe start with this right here and this this will get you into here you can download a pdf right here and, and it, it'll go through you know the the woodwork of python and how it relates to rhino and grasshopper for that matter so here we go uh start after installation yes i want that and it's done but it is not started why why oh it's thinking it's thinking there we go there we go launch yes launch it blast me off into outer space oh god damn it <laughs> <laughs> sign in let's let's sign in all right so we're all signed in um right here ready to launch ready to launch it right here and go ahead and launch and we're blasting off into space now finally geez uh okay so uh like i was saying so uh you're gonna be cloning it with uh uh just going to be grabbing this link right here and copy that, bring it over into here. And like I was saying, going to clone it. So you don't have to go into, you know, those folders and, and copy and all that relink the files. It's too much. So uh, uh, paste it right into here. There we go. And we go to clone. And it's thinking it's thinking oh all right and here we are so uh, uh i'm i'm not a coder person i'd love to uh get into visual studio and like do cool stuff and and make cool stuff like uh you know like like a custom thing like doodlebug that'd be cool wouldn't it so uh you're gonna go into the right right here uh this illustrator interface dot sln you're going to double click on that and it's going to bring you into the working files and all that jazz. And uh, these two guys are the two things that you're going to be editing things on to get it to work. First, we're going to start with Doodlebug. So you drop that down, go to References, drop that down. And these three things, see how they're, you know, yellow checkmark thing flagged or whatever. Uh, those are what we're going to be fixing. These are the files that you need to fix. So to do that, you're going to go into References, right-click, Add Reference, and this will come up. Uh, the comms, uh, this is what you're going to be using for the uh, Adobe, but that'll be for the other one. You're going to go into Browse. Uh, oh, don't, pay, don't pay attention to those. Uh, so you're going to go into browse and then go into uh, your, your main uh, program files 
Rhino 6, plugins. This is for the Grasshopper right here. Plugins, Grasshopper, these two right here. These are, no, these two are what you're going to be wanting. So uh, going to uh, highlight that, click add. That's check marks. Hit OK. Go into, now we need to re replace that one. Right click, add reference, browse, grasshopper.dll. That's what we want. That's what we need. Check marked. Good. Yes. That's what we want. Yes. And see that? So look at it. It's clearing things up. Um, like Acme. A Acme? I guess that's it. And uh, it's been a while since I hit puberty. Uh, right click references. This one, uh, browse. Gonna go up to Rhino 6 system. Yeah, uh, 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 by the way, uh, Grasshopper for Rhino 6, I believe. Uh, yeah, Rhino 6 and up now. Uh, Grasshopper is already in the bloodstream of Rhino, so that's where this is where you're gonna find the Grasshopper file. Uh, in previous Rhino versions, it will be in your Grasshopper install folder, where you have that probably program files. So Rhino 6 system. This is for the Rhino Common system. Gonna go all the way down here. Rhino Common. There you are. That's there's the little bugger. Hit add. Add. Uh, check mark. Yes, that's what we want. Hit OK. Look at that. It's clearing up. It's clearing up. So now we're going to go into uh, uh, Illustrator interface. Drop that down. Go into references. See that? Now, uh, uh, for some reason with Illustrator interface, you have to delete this one before you can uh, uh, relink it. So I'm going to right click, remove Illustrator. Go into References, right-click, Add Reference, go into Com, Type Libraries, and then find Adobe Illustrator. That's what we want. Check mark, yes, OK, and that's back up. There we go. So now if you see, these have a red check mark on it. So with Rhino 6, they're using a, uh, uh, well, let, let's get into it. So uh, right-click. On uh, Doodlebug, one or uh, uh, either of these. Let's just do Doodlebug. Right click Doodlebug, properties. Gonna have to do this with both. Uh, and it will automatically, you know, go right here. It should already have been there, but uh, um, and then go up to application and then .NET. Framework. So uh, uh, Rhino 4 and 5, I think, run on .NET Network Framework uh, or .NET Framework 4. Uh, 6, you need it needs to be 4.5. Don't ask me how I know, why I know. For some reason, I just know. Probably because I failed to do this like 50,000 times, which is now your benefit. Um, so yes, blah, 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 this will blah, 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 ask you to do blah, 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 and you want to say blah, blah, yes. And now we go, oh, see, that red little check mark is no longer there. Now we go into Illustrator interface, right click, go down to properties, already in application right here, dot that framework 4.5. That's what you need, the blah, 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 yes. And there we go. We're all good. So one more thing we have to do is, uh, oh, yeah, we're in here already. So we need to go into build. Then we need to do this for both. So right now we're in the Illustrator interface, build, and then go into configuration, release. Release it. Release it from its constraints. So uh, good, yes. Uh, go into Doodlebug, right click, properties, build, release, 
and we should be good. So now, uh, uh, so now we're ready to go up to here to say build, and then build solution. Uh, m make sure you're you're. Uh, I, I don't think it's a big uh, deal, but uh, highlight this, and then do the uh, build solution. Again, I, I'm not a coder person. Uh, that's why I'm making this video because I suffered enough. So now you guys don't have to suffer as well. So, uh, so now we have a build succeeded right here. That's exactly what we need to see, boy. Succeeded, yes. So, uh, uh, what am I doing? Oh, okay, right. Uh, so, uh, to we can go into the folders and find it in the folders, but let's just make it easy, you know. So, right click on here, go down to folder. Uh, open folder in file location. That's what we want. And we, this is the, the file for, you know, all of this stuff we were doing. Uh, where we're going to be looking for is Illustrator, Interop, go into there, bin, and then release. Oh, uh, maybe not, maybe not. I think it's this one. Yeah, Illust for Grasshopper. There we go. There we go. You dummy. You dummy. Like you haven't done this enough times. Oh my gosh. So illist for grasshopper bin. And then here we are. So uh, we let's let's uh, let me show you the folder to put it in. I'm going to open up Rhino. I, I know where to put it in. And uh, like I said, I, I don't like to just fish in the folders and whatnot uh, because uh, and you may have something different. So uh, this is where you're going to know for sure where to put it. So grasshopper. What, is that new? Look, they got a little button for that. Look at that. What? In Rhino 6? What? No. I want to use that. Look at that. I didn't even realize. In Rhino 6, they got this little cool button now. New in Visa. Uh, yes, that would make sense now, wouldn't it? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you dummy, dummy, dummy. That makes, let's do it. Oh, I did it. Oh, it felt so good. So uh, uh, we're now in Grasshopper, going to File, and then Special Folders. We're going to be putting this in the Components folder. So open that up. And let's find, uh, yes, the, there's the folder that we just had. So uh, I'm going to be dragging, copying over the doodle bug. You only want the doodle bug, not this one, but you are going to want these DLL files. So that one and this one. And that's what you want set up. Now, if you happen to download these from the internet, you need to go in here and right click and go into the properties and you'll see a little toggle right here that says unblock. You're going to want to toggle that only if you downloaded from the internet. You need to do that for, you know, any components that, uh, plugins that you do, and you should know this by now. Uh, but just saying, uh, but since we created these on our machine ourselves, then we don't have to do that. So uh, I will restart Rhino and Grasshopper, and let's see if it loads. Let's see. Ooh. Crossing my fingers, crossing my fingers. Oh, I get to hit that button again. Oh, yes, 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 yes. It feels so good. No more typing grasshopper. It's like muscle memory now. Every time I hit open rhino, I'm already hitting open grasshopper. And oh, look, look at that. Look at what we got there. Let's let's see if it opens. I'm I'm gonna close Illustrator right here. Ooh, buddy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh, two goal. Let's two goal. Uh, oh man. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. True? Is it true? Can it be true? Oh. 
are all my dreams come true? And it's opening! We did it, guys. We did it. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate all the applause. Thank you. Thank you so much. We did it. So there you go. That's how you do it. So uh, a, a, a few things. After working with uh, with Doodlebug a little bit, just uh, uh, some little tips that I will... Uh, I'll, I'll make some more videos to, to go more depth and uh, in depth into it but uh, these components are great and they they do some work but they don't do everything unfortunately you, you, you can't really master the workflow through to Illustrator with just these components alone and that's where this guy this is this is the workforce of this tool set right here this is the script one so you can you can just have you know a uh, 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 you can write script in here and send that to Illustrator and that's where the magic happens that's where you can do a whole lot and the best thing about it is that when it says when it runs It'll give you a true Boolean, and so uh, it, it's the magic, man. It's 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 got what it needs, you know. It's it's just one of those things. So uh, it does take a lot of work to to get like some really banging uh, 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 scripts, and uh, um, I'm, I'll, I'll try and share some with you guys when I have them foolproof. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'll uh, I'll make some separate videos, but that's it guys man. We did it